Welcome to Didy Dye's Crafty Corner. My name is Diane and I'm so glad you stopped by. Hi guys, happy Monday. Today I wanted to share with you some of the dyes that I got around to putting together this weekend. It was a little under the weather this weekend. I caught a bug from those grandbabies of mine and I got a chance to put together some dyes that I had been wanting to work on. So I'm going to start with one that I put together last year and used. We we did it as a family last year and that's the Spellbinders Turkey and that is this die right here it is so adorable it come it's just a few pieces but it makes such a magnificent little turkey you could do it with or without the hat and I just think it's adorable so I did that one the other one I had wanted to do was this one from Spellbinders, the um, Santa Claus. What is the name of this Santa Claus? This is Santa Hugs. Santa Hugs, and it's all these dies. And um, it's one of two Santa Clauses that I bought this year. And it is so adorable. So that's what it looks like. I did do some shading on all of these as well. There's the little deer. Isn't he precious? And then here's his companion, Santa. So pretty, right? I think this is such a cute, now this is a big, um, this is a big die right here. Do I have an A2 card right here? I do, hold on. Oh. All right, so here is the size. This is a regular top folding, right? So if you were doing this, it's big. I mean, this is a big die. You can fit it on there, but it's big. This size, it would hang over a little bit. So I would definitely do it this way. And then I would do my little Rudolph off to the side like that. It's so stinking adorable, isn't it? But this is a really big die. All right, and then I went and made this one. Now this one I was having some problems with when I tried it a couple months ago. This is called Santa's Here, and for whatever reason, when I sat down this time, it was no trouble at all. I didn't even have to look, look anything up, and it's much smaller, and it's super adorable, isn't it? Spellbinders just has the best eyes, don't they? Both Santas are just adorable. So I did that one. So cute. And what else did I do? I finally got around to doing the pumpkin. The pumpkin house. Um, I brought some extra grass. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but I did make some leaf clusters because I'm wanting to kind of make my scene is going to kind of be like that with a critter on it. And that is this one the Lawn Fawn Pumpkin House. Super easy to put together. All I did was add some shading around everything and it's just so pretty, isn't it? I really like it. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna finish these cards. I'll show you the finished cards um, later on. I just wanted to get some of these die cut. I'm gonna work on some this weekend as well. So um, that's super cute and it just went together so nicely. I added some yellow paper behind it and then like I said I just made some leaf clusters to go with it because I knew I'd want something around the sides. Alright next was this Christmas tree. So this is the Lawn Fawn uh, Christmas Palm Tree. I have some extras in there it look like that. Again not too many dies and I'm going to remake these trees and I'll tell you why in just a minute. I'm going to remake this tree. But for the first one, I wanted it to look, you know, a little Christmassy. So I did the ornaments kind of like how they had it laid out. I did the um, coconuts and the threes on there. And I added a couple of ornaments and the lights. And the lights have glossy accent. And I used a gold for my winding around of the tree, if you will. I think it's super cute. Now I've decided that I want this tree matching those two houses. So I'm going to redo these trees and these colors and that'll be the card that I'm going to make to send out um, 
with these two cards because I think the tree is adorable and I think it would look super cute with the house. So, but I want it to be all matchy matchy. So I made the Christmas tree super easy. Nothing hard about that one. And it was a lot of fun to create kind of like building your own Christmas tree. It was still, it was a lot of fun. And then I made the two houses. Now, the thing that I did different on these houses than I've done before in the past is I added two of our little scalloped roof liners so that it would hang out like an overhang. Can you see that? And it just gives it some dimension and I thought it was something different and cute. I did one in blue, one in pink. I of course used Lawn Fawn Trimmings paper to go with it. And um, I just think that they're both absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, when I do, when I make these cards, I'm going to redo those trees to match the lights that I have here, which is the pink and the blues in the paper. And then I will just add my little tree on to my little house like that or something. Super cute. Um, these are just, uh, these houses, if you don't know, they're just adorable. They're just so cute. And um, I have all of the, I have all of it now, so I can make a castle, make a um, barn, make the house, make the ghost house, all of the above. So for this one, I just use the basic house and then the Christmas add-ons. Let's see, I use this basic house piece. I didn't use uh, the flowers, but I just used the rest of the pieces on there. And then I just used the tree, the tree parts. For the, this is gingerbread house. All of this is gingerbread house and this is a Christmas add-on. So I just used the lights and the um, little tiny wreath. And for the wreath, I just added some polka dots. And what the little dot you're seeing there is actually the door handle. I would have left the door handle off altogether if I had put the wreath on first, but I didn't. So we got a little door handle there. I'm hoping that comes through. And that's what I made with some of those dies. I still have quite a few more to show you, but I don't have them finished yet. And believe it or not, these took me two days um, of working on them part-time. And um, I was very happy with that this weekend. So I'll share with you the cards I make with them when I come back. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.